Hey everyone, it's that time of the year again. It's the Amazon Fall Prime Day. It's here, and if you're looking for a perfect way to stay powered at home, on the road, or off grid, Blue Eddy has the deals you're gonna love. Today we're covering everything from the Apex 300 to the Elite Series, and I got a sneak peek at the Pioneer Sodium Ion Power Station behind me here, and the Blue Eddy RV system right there. So let's get started. First up is the Blue Eddy Apex 300. This is more than just a portable power station. It's a complete power solution. This has dual voltage, 120 volt and 240 volt inverter that outputs 3,840 watts on a single unit and scalable up to 11,520 watts with multiple units. It has high capacity LFP batteries that provide 2,764.8 watt hours of capacity on one single unit and scalable up to 58 kilowatt hours of capacity with multiple units. And there are multiple outlets on the front, but I think that this system is more geared toward connecting to a transfer switch because we have multiple outlets on the side that run up to 50 amps. So you can connect this directly to a transfer switch and back up those essential loads with absolutely no problem. And that is a pretty standard cord that can do that. Also, there is a 50 amp uh, input and output cable that can be connected to this that goes into the hub one from Blue Eddy that is where you can connect multiple of these units together. So we have different options on the side. Oh, I don't want to forget, there is also a 30 amp, 120 volt, uh, what they call an RV plug that's on the side. And we have 120 volt standard intake if you wanted to charge that way as well. But you could charge this with 240 volts at 50 amps or you can charge this at 120 volts with your standard wall plug, or we can connect this to our hub one and we can expand the system out. I have a complete video on that if you wanna check that out. The Elite 30 V2 is a compact yet powerful portable power station packed with features. 288 watt hours of battery capacity, those are LiPo 4 cells, a 600 watt continuous output inverter that can surge up to 1500 watts. It's ultralight at 9.4 pounds and has nine output ports, including 140 watt USB-C, a PD port for fast charging those laptops and offers multiple charging options, whether that's AC, solar, or charging in your car. And it supports UPS mode switching in just 10 milliseconds for seamless backup. This is great for camping, emergencies, and portable off-grid use. Um, I would probably state this to be most used in a scenario where you're gonna be charging small electronic devices when going camping. The Elite 100 V2 delivers 1,024 watt hours of battery capacity and an 1,800 watt continuous AC output and weighs in around 25 pounds. It supports fast charging. You can take this from zero to 80% in about 45 minutes via 1,200 watts of AC input and a full recharge in around 70 minutes with 1,000 watts of solar input. Other perks include a 10 year battery lifespan, 4,000 plus cycles, and whisper quiet operation at less than 30 decimals. And it has that 10 millisecond UPS switchover mode. And I think it's ideal for weekend road warriors and small off-grid setups. This system offers a balance between power and portability. The Elite 200 has 2,073.6 watt hours of capacity and a 2,600 watt continuous output inverter that can surge up to 3,900 watts. It can run heavy duty appliances with ease. It uses automotive grade LFP battery cells that are rated up to 6,000 cycles. That's roughly 17 years of daily use and you're still gonna have 80% of capacity left on those batteries. It does support fast charging, 80% or from zero to 80% in 50 minutes, full solar recharge in 2.4 hours, and optional alternator car charger available from Blue Eddy that you can charge this up with 560 watts on the go although it does come in at a hefty 53 pounds. So this is more geared toward those that need higher output, whether that be powering devices inside of your RV, your cabins, or using it for outdoor events like tailgating. You can do all that worry-free. 
And now it's time to take a look at the new RV system and the new sodium ion portable power station. So I'm gonna move these kind of over a little bit so I can kind of fit everything in. I'm gonna set the battery for this new RV system right there because it is rather heavy. This is not a light system. This is not meant for just pocketing around like these portable power stations are. So let me grab this big ass battery. and set it down here for you so you can see it. Next, we'll grab the RV5 inverter and set it up here so you can see it as well. And we might just do that right here. So Blue Eddy has this brand new 51.2 amp hour battery and they also have this 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. And I'll just put this right over here for you guys. So now we're looking at a complete RV system and this will be on sale as well. So if it's not available yet, I'll have links in the description of this video so you can get uh, big savings off of this. Whether you're watching this uh, currently or in the future, I'll have the best possible prices on this system if you're looking to hook up your RV system. And I'm gonna have a full install video of this, a basic install video of that here in my studio. So I'll show you how to connect everything and show it powering up my studio as well. Now, another exciting product is the Pioneer NA, which is a sodium ion portable power station. The world's first portable power station that is powered by sodium rather than lithium. So this is a huge step forward. And this is basically an answer to the naysayers that said that sodium would never be mass produced. Well, here it is, we have it in front of us and Blue Eddy is the first to do that. So I think <laughs> this is a uh, hats off to Blue Eddy for being the first to do this. They're our first to do a lot of things. When we start talking about portable power stations, Blue Eddy has led the way in a lot of that. A lot of the competitors then catch on to what they're doing and they follow into that. So Blue Eddy, hats off to you for offering the sodium ion portable power station because I've been looking at this for a while. We've had a lot of naysayers about sodium and it's good to see that we have an option when it comes to portable power stations and sodium ion. Also, Blue Eddy has created his very first RV system that is a package deal that has less components in it than what you would have if you built out your own traditional system like this with an inverter and a battery. So they provide everything you need. They give you the cables, they give you the disconnects, they even give you the screws to connect everything to. So this is a complete system for an RV. So we have the RV5 inverter with the B4810 51.2 volt 100 amp hour battery. So this is over five kilowatt hours of battery capacity. This is just a starter unit. You can add tons of these batteries to back up your RV for <laughs> a tremendous amount of time. Uh, something that you would never use. I mean, I, I can't think it all off the top of my head, but I think it's 166 kilowatt hours of battery capacity in an RV. I don't know if you would ever use that or even capable of using that. So these are the options that they are tossing out there for massive sales. And if you wanna check them out, I have links in the description below. I hope to catch you guys in the videos where I'm actually hooking this up and showing you how to install it, um, to pair it up with the whole full system. And I'll have a complete uh, review on the sodium ion portable power station, the Pioneer NA, which I'll just give you a spoiler alert. This is very surprising with the results that I got out of it. So hope to catch you in my next video.